Rhys Williams, and I'm playing Neil Kellerman. Hi, my name's Bryony Whitfield, and I will be playing Baby. Whenever we're casting Dirty Dancing, it's always a huge challenge to find people that we need because it's an amazingly physical show. We can have something like 3,000 people show up in a single day because of the iconic nature of Dirty Dancing. And people want to be in it. They desperately want to be Baby or Johnny. So that by the time we get through and you find a baby, it really is uh, something very special. girl dreams about being baby from Dirty Dancing and here I am living the dream having the opportunity to be her every night our days start with a physical warm-up where we all come together as a company the rehearsals have been very hectic it's probably one of the hardest dance shows uh, commercial dance shows there is it's definitely important for baby to be physically fit we're going to rehearse for seven weeks, six days a week. There's 90 different dances to learn. We do some quite extreme moves, some ex certainly some extreme lifts, things that your average person certainly wouldn't want to try. I'm a love man. Call me the love man. Ooh, baby, I'm a love man. Big difference between the movie and this show. If it goes wrong, you get a lift wrong, you just cut, we go back, we film it, we film it 50 times until we get it right. But this, you, you have to get this right. You've got one shot. That dance experience has got to come flying off the stage right to the back of the auditorium. Baby is definitely busy. If she's not rehearsing for the dancing, she's working with the director, developing relationships with the different characters, costume fittings, as well as press interviews. Baby is definitely busy. She is a busy, busy bee. <laughs> Bryony's portrayal of Baby is, is fantastic. We're still bonding together and finding each other's characters and how we, how we work with each other. It's going to be a fantastic journey. She's a very intense character. She's, she feels a lot of emotions in a space of two hours of a show. And I'm not sleeping at night because I'm doing the show, Dirty Dancing, in my head. <laughs> Dirty Dancing is a very dance-heavy show, so the costumes need to be custom-made so that they can withstand all the choreography. As Baby grows up throughout the film, her costumes also change. She starts off as quite a plain, sensible girl, and that's reflected in her very simple clothing. By the end of the film, she's grown up, she's found that she's turning into a woman, and that's reflected in her dress. The music is the thing at the end of the day that really just ticks the show over. In the 80s, people wouldn't have thought that the youngsters would, would actually have an affinity to the music, yet the album sold over 7 million copies. It's one of the biggest selling albums of all time. To be singing these iconic songs put a lot of pressure on me because you can't mention Dirty Dancing and not think of the song Time of My Life and it's such a, it's a bit of an anthem for people worldwide. You just have to measure up to all of that. All the music that takes place in the show, as in the movie, is it's all happening for real. So you get to actually be there, you get to be in the room and experience Baby's story. You want to make sure they're going to get what they're expecting. What's been done? The film was made for a budget of just under five million dollars. Subsequently, I've spent more than that on each individual production of Dirty Dancing I've done for the theater. The moment has finally arrived and I'm having the time of my life. It's such an iconic movie and now an iconic musical. 
It makes you want to get up and join in. It's an amazing experience. I want to experience Baby, you know, so falling in love with, with Johnny and actually be there. And uh, we deliver that now.